Good morning. Welcome to the April All Staff. Like always, we appreciate everybody getting up early, coming and really spending some time to really review our March performance. I'm at Six Bends Harley Davidson this morning, and um, something really cool that I did today that uh, I thought I would share with you uh, here at Six Bends Harley Davidson, we have just down the road the Florida Gulf Coast University. And Florida Gulf Coast University asked to do a field trip here, bring the real estate class from Florida, Florida Gulf Coast University in, and really uh, allow me to share my experience in building a new location and what it took to do that. But my real takeaway was that all of those students were about 19 to 23 years of age. And all of them were very impressed and really into the tour that we gave them here today. So my takeaway is there's a lot of ways that we market our business and, the, and a lot of ways that we brand our business and we expose our business to the market area. But remember, 98% of the public don't ride motorcycles. So we have to find ways of bringing people in here and really sharing this great experience with them because that's what we have, that's what we sell, is a lifestyle and an experience. So it was a cool takeaway this morning, and, uh, and the staff here at Six Bends really provided a great venue to be able to take 40 college students around and share with them. All right, so let's talk about this month in March, some of the, some of the highlights of what happened. You know, uh, one year anniversary for Duke City Harley-Davidson. Congratulations to the team out there because that's been a very successful first year for Duke City. A lot of hard work to the team out there, to both to both Thunderbird and Duke City because clearly Thunderbird had to be a big support in making that happen. So it's a great year and we just celebrated that one year with a, with a great ride led by Adam Sandoval. A lot of you may know Adam Sandoval, some of you may not, but Adam Sandoval is doing an event sponsored by Scott Fisher Enterprise going across the whole country, visiting every Harley-Davidson Harley dealership in the country, and he has gotten substantial PR, and he's raising money for a great cause, raising money for the military guys, and, uh, and we're going to see a lot of great response from that. Second thing is three-year anniversary for Blue Ridge Harley-Davidson. This is going to be great because I'm leaving today to go to Blue Ridge. It's going to be exciting to see the guys in Blue Ridge. But three years ago, we went to Blue Ridge. And what's great about and what's really great to celebrate about Blue Ridge is that when we went to Blue Ridge, we were the, we were the back pack dog. We were at the bottom of the charts. We were the store that nobody gave any credit to. And today, Blue Ridge Harley-Davidson is the top dog. They're really the team in the whole Carolina areas that dealers and customers are talking about. So it's the hard work and commitment that all of you have made up there to make that happen. So let's talk about Thunderbird, the number one dealer in their district. Year to date with 203 units, 203 new units sold through February. Two months, 203 units. The closest dealer in their district has sold 95 units. That's just spectacular performance, and it's because of the hard work and commitment that that team out there has at really driving sales. It's not even springtime yet. In fact, I think it snowed in February. I know it snowed in January, so great job. 18% year-over-year growth, and that district, the district that Thunderbird is in, is 20% down. Thunderbird's 18% up, and the district's 20% down. Big, great job. Six Bends Harley-Davidson, the number one dealer in their district, year to date with 191 units through February. So through February, they've had 191 new units. Chester's, our biggest competition, which is in Fort Lauderdale, which happens to be in a, in a market area of four million people, is in second place with 176 units. So it's really, it's really a tribute to the, to the work that we do here in Fort Myers and the team at Six Bends has been able to, to get done to be the number one dealer in our district right now with 191 new units. Six Bends is up 32%, 32% and the district is down three. Blue Ridge Harley-Davidson, 
As I said earlier, they used to be at the bottom of the chart and now Blue Ridge is near the top. I didn't have the numbers to talk about Blue Ridge on, um, today, but what I do know is they've been redistricted and the numbers look different than they used to, but Blue Ridge's performance and through, through March right now has been pretty spectacular. I get to, as I said, go up there today. Today's Thursday, gonna be there Thursday night and Friday and, sa and half day Saturday, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing there because the performance in Blue Ridge is really rocking. <clears throat> Some other really big performance uh, congratulations that need to go out is just last week we had three general managers, John Tabor, Gil Gibson, and Sean Delaney who went, to, uh, went on a barn shield trip to Italy. Three stores out of five went to Italy on a barn shield trip. That's because of the great performance that all of our stores drive every month. So, so far this year through, through March, we've had 975 units sold. 975 units our company has sold in the first quarter. That means we're on target, clearly on target, to do well more than 4,000 motorcycles. The Family Feud. I don't know if all of you know about the Family Feud. I hope you do know about the Family Feud, but it's really a contest that we have for our management team in performance and measurement against each other. Just internally, six stores performing against each other. The numbers have really heated up. Mid-April, we're going to have the numbers. We'll, we'll send out the numbers to all the teams, and we'll have payouts um, in, at that time frame. We'll have prizes and awards that go out. That's going to be pretty exciting. Our store visits are in full swing. Uh, Glow and John have been to multiple stores so far. I'm going to Blue Ridge today. Uh, we're going to talk about organizational health. We're going to do a little bit deeper dive in organizational health. That is really the, the culture that we have in our health. It's all about building teams, creating real clarity, having great communication, and driving that communication through our human systems, through our, through our recruitment process and through our training process. It's going to be fun to spend a day with the whole staff, spend part of the time with the managers and part of the time with just frontline employees, and really get great feedback so that we can continue to drive organizational health, which is what really creates the environment we have, makes people, keeps people wanting to work for us and customers wanting to be a part of our business. So we appreciate the great work this past March. We'll see you in May. Great job. Thanks for the hard work and uh, we'll, um, we'll see you on the flip side.